Andrea here. Thank you for checking out my channel, Day in the Life of a Trucker's Wife. And as always, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below. I would really appreciate your support and I would love to have you as part of this trucker family. And if you have not done so yet, make sure you enter the giveaway for celebrating hitting that 100 subscriber milestone. Um, the giveaway drawing will be on Sunday. I'm going to randomly pick using one of those random pickers <laughs> um, the winner. So I will do that at 8 o'clock on Sunday and I will try to get that video out immediately after. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and go check out the giveaway video so you know what to do to enter and good luck to all of you who have entered that so far. Um, so okay, one, two, three, four, five bags from Dollar Tree. So let me get right into this, okay? Um, all right. I think I usually start with food stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of OCD about my Dollar Tree videos. I have to really categorize everything. And I don't know. as you get to know me a little better, I have some OCD tendencies. But that's okay, right? Um, all right. So something that I found that I think I was hungry and it sounded really good. But these are Welch's Oatmeal Bar Mix. This is grape, um, yeah, Welch's grape jam. That's what I buy all the time, so this just sounds delicious. For a dollar, it is worth a try, and the only thing you need for this is softened butter and a tablespoon of water. Pretty good. Now, just real quick, I had bought some of the, I think it was Betty Crocker oatmeal bars. They were chocolate chip oatmeal bars. And the back of the box said, all you needed was butter and water. I made them to package directions. And you guys, I thought they were horrible. <laughs> they were, they, I baked them, you know, they were baked perfect, but they didn't stick together. So I could swear that the reason why those ended up in Dollar Tree is because the directions omitted putting an egg in it or something because they just, they were not right. So if any of you have tried those oatmeal chocolate chip bars that came in like a bag, Betty Cracker bag, I'm going to use my hands. Um, if you tried those and found the same issue, just let me know. I'm really curious to, maybe I just didn't do it right, but yeah. So I'm a little scared because this does not require an egg, but we'll try it out. Um, I thought this was an awesome, awesome deal. Ortego hard taco shells. Um, I like hard tacos. Matt and our younger daughter like soft tacos. So when she's here, I usually just get soft tacos. But I figured for a dollar, there are 10 in here. And yeah, Ortego taco shells for a dollar. You guys, Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. Um, what else did I get? If you've watched, again, in previous videos, I explained how I keep a bin with different kind of snacks. So if um, little ones in my family come over or I see some of the neighbor little ones, I'll usually uh, ask their parents, you know, hey, can they have something? And So I try to keep a variety of snacks in my bin. And so I found these Despicable Me, what are they, graham cracker snacks, honey flavored, and there are six of them in here. And I think they are perfect size for um, little hands, and six of them for a dollar, really, really hot deal, I think. Um, another thing to add to my snack bin six pack of these Austin peanut butter and jelly crackers. I have tried these already and I think they are really, really good. I've never seen the peanut butter and jelly ones, but six packages of them for a dollar. Really, really great set. And let's see. Okay. This is a repeat buy. When I see these at the Dollar Tree, I don't clear the shelf because I, I really don't. I don't like clearing the shelves. But um, these only come out, I only ever see them maybe twice a year. 
So when I do see them, you guys, I do get like six or seven of them. No lie. They freeze beautifully in this package and they are delicious. They are really delicious. These are the um, Miss Claudia's Bakery six mini French rolls. And what I do is I melt some butter and I put some um, garlic powder in the butter, a little bit of salt, and I bake these in the oven at probably about 350. And once they're about halfway through, you know, warming through, I, and I'm, I would say I wouldn't keep them in for more than, you know, five, 10 minutes. But um, I brush on some of that garlic butter sauce, bake them for a few more minutes until you notice it gets a little bit of brown, a little bit browned on top. Oh my gosh, with some butter inside. They are so good. So yeah, I grabbed, I think, seven of them. And there was still plenty left on the shelf for um, somebody else. So if you've never tried these, pick them up. Um, I found some of this Annie's soup that was going around. They only had the one kind at the Dollar Tree I went to, which is organic tomato. This container is a one pound, one ounce container. And if you're familiar with Annie's, it's um, an organic brand and it's typically a little pricey in the store. So really good deal. I'm hoping to find some more of these. We like tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches around here. Uh, repeat buy, not food, but we like to keep these um, to-go uh, coffee cups. Um, they work really well. They insulate really well. And, you know, I like if we are going somewhere and we want to take some coffee to go, I don't have to worry about bringing a mug back home. It's sitting in the car and, like, getting funky. Just, you know, toss it. And you get five of them with the lids for a dollar. Um, I saw these. I've never saw, seen these at Dollar Tree before. And these are Dandy Pack Peanuts Honey Flavored. It says it's a signature product of I don't know what. They are kosher. Um, it says, you know, peanuts, brown sugar, cane sugar, molasses, honey powder, Arabic gum, salt. May contain wheat, milk ingredients, sesame seeds, tree nuts, and soya. But it's a decent sized bag. It's seven ounces. I love nuts, peanuts, cashews, almonds. I, I love nuts. So there we go. Got some of those. Um, and then this is a repeat buy as well. This is a 0.3 ounce container of pounce. And this is for Joker. Um, if he was around, I'd introduce you to him. Um, let me know down below if you're interested in meeting our pets. Um, most of you would probably be okay with meeting our furry pet. But let me see if I can turn this a little bit. If you can see behind me, there is a ginormous tank. And in there... We have pets of the reptilian variety. Um, if you're introduced, if you're interested in meeting those pets, let me know. I would love to bring them out for you. And uh, we do have two more reptilian pets in another tank. Uh, so yeah, I would love to do a video and show you them. Um, they are pretty cool, I think. And we love them. So, <laughs> all right, one bag down. On to the next. All right, all right, all right. What do I want to show you guys? Just trying to get some stuff out of the way. Clear some stuff up. Gift bags that I found. I like having a variety of gift bags. And, of course, Dollar Tree is the only place to go for gift bags. If any of you watching this video still go to... Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, I don't know, wherever it is you go for gift bags. If you have Dollar Tree near you, do not get your gift bags anywhere else because they have the cutest bags that anywhere else would be definitely more than a dollar. So I finally 
found these bags that look like desserts. This one's like an ice cream sundae. Really pretty, and I don't know if you can see. It's um, glittery. Really, really cute, cute bag. And then I found the one that is like a watermelon popsicle. Oh, so cute. Just love it. And then I found a pink chicken bag. And then I found some unicorn bag. So I got this one. And this unicorn is sparkly. Really cute. And this one. So pretty. What is it about unicorns? They're just so colorful and just I don't know, mystical and they make me happy. And then a big one with the unicorn. May your day be magical. Really, really cute bags, you guys. Alright, so that's it for gift bags. Um, moving on. I'm just going to show a little bit of randomness here. This here, and it's a pretty big size. Let me see if it says 12 inch by 18 inch activity mat. So this is perfect for little ones or even yourself to work different crafts on top of this. Um, be really great for Play-Doh um, or Kinetic Sand, something like that. And again, they're a decent size. They had them in different colors. Um, I got it in the blue. And yeah, so flexible for funneling and easy storage. So if you're in need of any of those, Dollar Tree has them. Um, I found a scarf, and actually, now that I think about it, I had another scarf somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I found this scarf. Uh, this is not an infinity scarf. It's just a regular scarf with the feathers on it. Really pretty. And then I really, really love this one. This is an infinity scarf, and I just love the pattern on it. I just think it's so pretty. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll wear it as a scarf or try to use it as some kind of a headband. It's so weird. Like, oh, look at me, you know. Whatever, you guys. <laughs> so I thought those were pretty. They had some other ones. Um, they weren't necessarily my thing, but uh, for a dollar, those scarves are really great deal um what else what else what else oh oh I, now i haven't seen anybody hauling these so let me know if you've seen these but these are some new socks that they're carrying and i don't know if you can see it they say beverly hills polo club on there there's only one pair in each one but they're a really nice quality looking sock really cute and so I got it in this pattern here which I thought was a really fun pattern and then they had this gray with the pink and gray kind of triangle designs and then these gray polka dot and they had a bunch of other ones I took a picture so if you're interested in seeing you know the other ones that they had um, definitely check out the pictures in the end. Uh, some other socks that I found are these are the two pair of socks and this one has the pineapples and then the other pair is really cute gray with the polka dot and I got two pair of those. Figure keep one around for possible gift or another giveaway. Um, and then they had these really pretty ones, pastel polka dots. This is another two pack. And I really liked these with the gray, pink, and the teal. And I love these Dollar Tree socks. Um, there are some that I don't care for, but 
I don't know, it seems like I can, you know, I can tell the difference of the ones I like and don't like, um, but I really like these kind. What else, what else, what else, lots of what else. Um, okay, I got some of this Glade Car Refill, and I know Dollar Tree has had these for actually a while now, and I have not bought one because I'm like, well, that's great they have the car refill, but I need the actual car um, air freshener to stick it in. And so I, I haven't bought it. And then I was at Ollie's. I don't know if any of y'all in some of the other states have. Ollie's, uh, I'm in Michigan, and Ollie's is like a discount store. Um, they sell a lot of overstock type of items. And we happened to be there. I forget what we were looking for, but um, they had the the car actual air freshener um, for I think it was a dollar. So I picked it up at Ali's, and I picked up a refill at Dollar Tree. So it's like pretty happy about that. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Home decor stuff. These are items that have been on my wish list and most likely will be for my room. So this one that says dream. I'm not sure. I'll probably paint it because the purple doesn't actually match our bedroom. Our bedroom is gray and teal blue. But, you know, for a dollar, I think that's a really nice piece that you can customize if need be. And then this one I will definitely paint. It says home on there with the butterflies. Really, really cute. And I'm thinking about painting the home part white and then maybe using some of that reindeer moss to um, make these like fuzzy. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, some pictures. I'm trying to move along because I'm looking at the time and I still have so much more to show you so I don't know what to do. I might have to do another haul. Um, okay, love lives here. I absolutely love that. This one I've seen other people have haul before and it's just the really kind of farmhouse looking uh, Rooster here, the chicken. The kitchen is the heart of the home. Yes, it is. And this one here, I love, love, love this. It says, most of all, let love guide your life. And it is from a scripture verse, Colossians. Scripture verse. And I love finding really pretty stuff that um, is, like, scriptural. Um... Oh my gosh. I wish my hubby was here right now to help me. <laughs> um, okay, I found the wall pictures. Uh, they have the hanger on the back there that says Believe in Magic. And I know I'm sorry if I'm going quick, but I want to get through this. Always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn. Yes. And then they had these little easel signs, and this is the pineapple. And it says, You are the pineapple of my eye. And then the one that says, Can't touch this. Super cute. And then I did find the pineapples. And so I got one of each of those. Really pretty. Oh boy, this is getting dangerous over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm a hot mess today. Alright, and the last thing. Um, it has a little tab here to pull out and it lights up. And it says, live more, worry less. And they had some other ones. I believe I took a picture of that. But it is an LED light box. Really, really cute. Yes, yes, yes. 
So let me try and get probably so much noise right now, right? But okay. Quiet. Quiet. got one of these just simply because I want something to carry cleaning supplies in as I clean the house. Found two more of the false graph mugs. This one says there is always hope. Really, really beautiful. I am just addicted to these mugs. And I found the letter A, you guys. So, of course, I had to get that one. <laughs> really, really pretty. So, yay. Okay. Get this back out of the way. <laughs> All right. There is an end in sight. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. So, my husband is a Star Wars fan. I like it too, but not to the extent that he is a fan. But I could not believe when I saw these at the Dollar Tree. Now, I have gotten him some other Star Wars figures from the Dollar Tree, but they were um, a smaller scale. I'm pretty sure they were a smaller scale. I don't know, but they had a bunch of these. I know for a fact these are Hot Wheel brand. These would be more than a dollar these would what i think they would be like five dollars so i can't i just couldn't believe it i did not find all of them which i'm bummed out about i don't think i did so let's see um so they had that one that one this is for all you star Wars lovers out there they have this one Just can't believe it. Can't believe it for a dollar. Just blows my mind. That one. some of you might be like okay these aren't really interesting but I'm sure there are some collectors out there you have to have this one that might be like holy crap a dollar for those wow it's crazy and then um, I found they had some fast and the furious I really don't know if they're well they're metal these are metal but these are fast and furious and they had several of them. The only one I got was this tank here. Okay, I don't know. Can you see it? I know there's like a glare. Um, I got the tank because it's kind of like an inside thing with me and my hubby. Um, we play on the PlayStation. I know, 43 years old playing PlayStation. But you know what? I got a full-time job. I take care of my business. I want to play on a PlayStation, I'm going to play on the PlayStation. But anyways, um, <laughs> we play this game on the PlayStation called World of Tanks. And it's lit literally, you're driving around like big military tanks and blowing up other military tanks. So um, we just have a lot of fun doing it together. So I had to get a tank. And I think that's it for toy type of things so uh, I found this that everybody's been hauling this is the rust-oleum never wet multi-surface liquid repelling treatment in frosted clear it says you can use a vest for metal wood concrete aluminum galvanized metal PVC masonry asphalt vinyl siding plastic and more and then it tells you good for 
Fabric, leather, canvas, dries to a milky haze, not recommended for use on clothing. So it's the kit to, um, you know, repel water on things. And come on, worth more than a dollar. So I picked up two. These, my mother-in-law actually just showed me these. Um, what did she say? She said they're a lot like a name brand called Salon Paz. Um, so she said they work really well and so I picked up some to get for myself. I don't know if I have carpal tunnel or what going on. I've been doing like clerical type of work since I've been, um, you know, like 18 years old, a lot of typing over the years and I'm starting to get like numbness and issues in my hands and my wrists. So I thought maybe because the size of these. Well, they're in this package, and then there's more, and in, they're individual inside this package. So I thought maybe that would be good to just kind of like put on my wrist if I'm having um, some issues. So try those out. Avalanche. Um, they had these Pentel pens. These are name brand, and these are medium. Uh, point ink color matches the pen barrel there are two packs and they had another one that just had like a blue ink and a black ink but I wanted the colors so Pentel is a name brand like I said definitely would pay more than a dollar for these at any store you went to um, Band-Aids. They had some new Band-Aids that I haven't seen, so I like to keep fun ones in the house. And I got a pack of these Jurassic World, and there are 20 in there. And these are what the Band-Aids look like. Um, one scuncy thing that I found that was new to me. I don't know. I've never tried these. These remind me of those, like, manager key wristbands that you wear, like a key around. Uh, so I don't know how well I'll like these in my hair. Have you guys tried these? Um, but I figured for a dollar I will try some of them out. And they had a beautiful display at my Dollar Tree of all the Scunzi products. Um, I took a picture of it. It's pretty impressive. So if you're interested in scun the Scunzi that Dollar Tree has, take check out the picture in the end. All right. Here we go. 27 minutes on the clock. And we are down to my favorite things, which are notebook, stationery, blah, 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 aisle. Okay? <laughs> um, so let's get through this. Markers that I have not seen before. thought these would be neat to have. We have um, a multi-drawer system thing going on. I don't know. I can't think of what to say. Um, organizer drawer thing in Lily's room with all kinds of different, you know, she has drawers with um, construction paper, stickers, glues, pens, whatever you need to um, do artsy things, which she loves to do. So I found these markers and they are all different, as you can see, scented. These ones have like ridges in them. So when you um, draw with them, they create lines. And then the, these ones here are little stamps on the end. So, you know, that was cool. And the flavors that are on these scented ones are purple, grape lollipop, green, delicious watermelon, yellow, luscious lemon, orange, sweet orange, pink, fruity strawberry. So really nice for a dollar. Some notebooks that I had to have, of course. These are journals, and look how pretty those are. So we have the cactus again, the flamingo, and the unicorn, Dollar Tree. And actually, it isn't just Dollar Tree. If you go to any stores, whether it's Walmart, Myers, Target, and you look at kind of the stationery or home decor, you know, these are the it things to have this year. And it's fine with me because I love them. They're cute. So, had to get one of each of those. And then they had, kind of to go along with them, um, these sticky note pads. And these are crown jewels. 
and they have one in the pineapple that says uh, B Sweet. And there are 50 sheets in here. And they have the cactus. And of course, had to have the unicorn. Really cute. Oh, and I got the flamingo as well. Um, just a magnetic, cute notepad. Stuff to do with watermelon on there. I love it. And this has 60 sheets on it. Um, okay. They have these index cards that are on rings. Just like that. And I got a gray one. And there are 50 sheets on each of these. I got a pink one. And it's not paper, it's like a plasticky co cover on here. So they would, you know, hold up pretty well. Um, they had the one with the feathers. And then they had this cute one with like the sugar skulls and ice cream cones and whatnot. And the reason I got these were, I thought these would be a really good way um, to help... Uh, I, I've been wanting to do like better at some Bible verse memory so what I thought I could do or even just to um, I like putting some Bible Bible verses into categories so if you're looking for something you know maybe um, motivational um, you know like I've been trying or I quit smoking I am about four months in I have not cheated one bit I crave it every day but um, I would like to maybe put scripture verses in here that would help me if I'm having a craving it's just you know some like a mantra that I can repeat like um, I could do all things through Christ who gives me strength things like that um, I thought it'd be good for scripture memory um, just to keep it in purse have on hand or I thought it would be good, Lily is needing to really get a handle on multiplication tables. Um, so I thought, I'm just trying to think of different ways that maybe could help her. So if we use these kind of as flashcards, you know, pop them in a purse. And if we're in the car, whatever, we could, you know, just use that to try and help her. So, yeah, it's really cute. I love that they have the rings on them. Okay, and last but not least, I got some thank you cards. These are expressions by Hallmark. Again, I can't believe it, the stuff that Dollar Tree has. And it says right on here what the price retail price was, $3.99. These I thought were really cute for obvious reasons. It has a cat on there. And inside, there are six of them in here. And then I got these pretty ones with the shoes all over them. Again, blank inside. And then I found these. Uh, at first, I was confused as to what they were. I found these over by the wedding stuff. So it was a really weird place. But these are note cards. Okay. And there are four note cards with embellishments and envelopes. So you've got some really cute embellishments up here. And then your cute note cards. And I got two of this one. And I thought this would be cute for a future giveaway. Not in the one that is going on right now. But I'm going to start, you know, making a new giveaway basket to maybe maybe if I hit ever hit 500 subscribers um, you know I'll have another giveaway at that point so and then they had this cute one it says how wonderful it is to do nothing and rest afterwards and again the embellishment and these have purple envelopes the other one had like the dark bluish gray envelope and then this cute cute kitty thought it was so cute and it just says I rule because you know cats rule the house 
and the cute little embellishments to go along with it. So, super cute. Again, if this is something you're like, where is that? I have not seen it. Go look by the wedding aisle, the baby shower type of stuff. I, I just um, I don't know why they had it there, but that's where it was. Um, so, all right. That is it, you guys. Thank you for sticking around, hopefully, through this long. It, this was a long haul, so uh, I hope you guys don't mind that. But um, I love, love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Have a beautiful, blessed, safe weekend. And until next time, peace.